How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And here's a quick video to show you guys how you can get an Indian IP address. Now, some of you guys have been asking about free VPNs and unfortunately in terms of free VPNs for India, you know, some free VPNs and I would have recommended tunnel bear, but most VPNs, even, you know, premium VPNs like Nord VPN removed their Indian server because of one thing. And that is earlier this year in the year 2022, the Indian computer emergency response team announced that it will require VPN providers to lock personal user data and maintain this data for five years. And in light of these rules, they have made the decision to remove their servers from India in June. So, you know, while I would have recommended Tunnel Bear because it's a pretty good VPN as far as free VPNs go, and they offer all of their servers um, for use, you know, freely, but of course there is a 1.5 gigabyte uh, threshold and after that you can't use it anymore until next month um, this is a pretty good free vpn but unfortunately again there is no indian server and another thing is that if you're trying to get an indian ip address in order to uh, bypass let's say specific jurisdictions in order to get access to indian streaming services if you're abroad uh, you're not going to be able to do that with a free VPN. You're going to have to use a reliable VPN in order to actually do that. And while I would normally recommend NordVPN, in this case, NordVPN does not have an Indian server. So we're going to look for other VPNs that have virtual servers uh, in India. Now, that doesn't mean that they're logging your information and they're going to give it up to the Indian government. It just means that the servers available are virtual servers. They don't really exist in India because a virtual server recreates the functionality of a dedicated physical server. It exists transparently to users as a partition space inside a physical server and virtualizing servers makes it easy to reallocate resources and adapt to dynamic workloads. So in simple terms, while we can get an Indian IP address, when we're connected to these VPNs, such as Express Cyber Ghost or Surfshark, we don't have to abide by, by the Indian government's uh, rules to, well, get our information stored for five years. I can just connect to one of these VPNs and I will have a legitimate Indian IP address without having to get my information stored. Uh, and as you can tell right here on my IP finder, it thinks that I am in India simply because I'm connected to the Indian IP address with ExpressVPN. Now, if you're looking for other VPNs, let's say, you know, you don't want to pay for ExpressVPN, you can go with Surfshark or CyberGhost. All these VPNs are some of the best VPNs in the business. You've got ExpressVPN with over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, CyberGhost with over 7,000 servers in 91 countries, and Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. And again, all these VPNs will vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation, your own budget and preferences, and what you're looking for out of your VPN. But if you're looking for Indian servers, you will certainly get those servers no matter which VPN you go for just to show you guys we do have indian servers here with cyber ghost and if we go to uh surfshark just look up india and there we go both of these are virtual locations by the way so don't worry these vpns will not collect your information and hand it out to the indian government so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys are interested in any of these vpns you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features and of course if you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund through the 30-day money-back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.